As a business owner or a manager, have you ever heard the term opportunity cost? It's a term that I learned in undergrad econ class that has played a really big role in the way I think about business. The definition of opportunity cost is the value of what you lose when choosing between two or more options. Let's talk about how I've seen a lot of security guard companies not taking opportunity costs into account when making decisions. Welcome to another 3 Minute Thursdays. As you probably know by now, 3 Minute Thursdays is my web series where I share all of the hard earned lessons that I've accrued over almost two decades in the security guard industry. Lessons like don't give a company car to an officer without letting them know that they're being GPS tracked. That dude, I mean, you thought it was okay to leave a post to drive home to the other side of the city because your girlfriend made dinner. Really? Anyway, let's take about three minutes to talk about the opportunity cost of making bad decisions. Let's start the timer. Although opportunity cost is a principle grounded in economic theory, yeah, I was an econ nerd. It has very real practical applications for all businesses, including security guard companies. But before we dive into it, uh, let's talk about what opportunity cost means in the real world and not theoretically. As an example, let's talk about someone who uh, commutes to work because at some point we'll all start commuting to work again. But that's besides the point. Let's say you have an option of either driving to work or taking public transportation and you decide to drive to work. For the sake of this example, let's say it takes you 90 minutes to get to work because you had to stop to get gas, the heavy traffic, and an inability to find a parking spot. But now let's say that that same commute, if done on public transportation, only takes you 40 minutes. That means the opportunity cost of driving would be 50 minutes. In either example, you still get to work on time, but the question is, what could you do with an extra 50 minutes? Is that another 50 minutes of sleep? Or maybe that's time to hang out with the kids in the morning before school. Whatever it is that you uh, do with that 50 minutes, you can't realize those things because you've lost that time due to your decision to drive rather than take public transportation. Okay, so how does that apply to security guard companies? The way that I see it most is the underutilization of security guard management software like officerreports.com. So uh, here are a couple of examples. The one that I hear most is companies still using paper reports. Again, like in our commuting example, all the reports are still getting done and are still eventually shared with their clients. But in order to do that, the security guard company has to send out field supervisors to drive and collect a lot of the reports. Once the field supervisor returns with the reports to the office, the reports still have to be reviewed, scanned, and emailed to the client. Now let's think about all of the time that field supervisors and admins invest in that process. How many hours a week of manpower does that process require? Whatever it is, it is drastically more than using officer reports, electronic reporting software. What could you have your field supervisors doing with those extra hours? I mean, is it building better relationships with customers, doing more on-site training, building better rapport with officers, identifying more bidding opportunities? The list is probably endless. Again, the process of using paper reports works for those companies, but there is a huge opportunity cost associated with that process. The second example is companies who are tracking their officers using anything other than real-time GPS-based tour tracking. In a lot of instances, we talk with companies who are using their field supervisors to run around the city doing surprise spot checks to make sure that officers are on site and alert. But verifying that officers are on site and doing their patrols is something that software should be doing. Point blank period. 
There are probably 10 other things that are more important that your field supervisor should be doing. And in some cases, those things could actually make you money. Opportunity cost isn't calculated on a spreadsheet, doesn't show up on your balance sheet or P&L, but it is there and it's costing your company every day. There's a cost associated with every decision that you make for your security guard company, so make wise decisions. Well, that's it for this week, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, please click the like button below and leave a comment to let me know what you think. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe or follow us on one of our social media channels. Thanks, everybody. See you next week and stay safe.